And now let me show you the new pet eye feature, which is easily accessible in either quick mode, or here we are in expert mode. So you've got that red eye tool right there. So if you wanted to do it in expert mode, we could simply duplicate the image layer by pressing Command or Control J so that we're not harming the original image. And then when we click the red eye tool, we can see it's exactly the same options as we get over in quick mode. It just depends on where you're more comfortable. Starting out with a program, you might want to hang out in quick and guided modes most of the time. But, you know, do venture over here in expert land because it's a lot of fun. So now what we're going to do is turn on the pet eye checkbox. Now that is new in Elements 12. This is a feature that even Photoshop CC does not have. It wishes it does, but it doesn't. So now we can come over, and I'll zoom in so you can really appreciate this. You're going to click on the offending people. Did an okay job. Not a great job. What can we do to fix it? We can step back a couple of times by pressing Command or Control Z. So we backed up two steps. Now let's increase the radius of that pupil slider. Now let's click. We're getting there. Let's undo a couple more times. I'm just pressing and holding the Command key and tapping Z. Now let's pump the radius up all the way and let's darken a little bit more and see what happens. So that's much better. I think if we drag the darken slider up even further, we'll get to where we want to be. There we go. See how I'm just undoing and fine tuning those sliders to get what I want? That's probably the best the best we're going to get, but holy Thor, we've never had that capability before ever. Seriously, to fix that, you would have to create a new empty layer, create a selection of the offending white, gold, or green bits. You would have to then fill that selection with black. Then you would have to add another layer to paint on the glints because the eyes aren't going to look real unless the people has a glint in it from the reflection of the light. So this is really incredible stuff. And it may not look perfect, but if you zoom out of the photo to about roughly the size it might print, that is a printable picture, you know, of your own pet. Obviously, you're not going to sell that to a client or sell it as stock photography, but for your own personal uses, that is a lot more usable than that. So that is the red eye and the new pet eye feature, both accessible either in quick edit mode with the red eye tool or in expert mode.